Hi, Riola. Um, I wanted to discuss the feeling of being starstruck. So I've had some memorable experiences where I felt what I think is overwhelmed by someone. So recent examples of that would be the hot seat with Abraham, the first conversation I had with you, Riola, Riola saying that Tesla had joined the conversation last week. And I have this overwhelmed feeling where I almost become speechless. So I love the feeling of appreciation, but I don't like the effect of feeling speechless and overwhelmed. So what's your thoughts on that? This is the topic about expectations and it's a topic about worthiness. So which one would you like to discuss first? Worthiness. <laughs> this experience that you are describing here is the experience of always mutuality. You see, this experience that you have in conversations right now is the ease. What star strikes you is the ease with which you can create. And that ease with which you can create that flows through you at all times, sometimes is recognized and sometimes not. And that's why you sometimes feel more worthy and sometimes not so much. And in the moments where you may have not felt as ease or so much ease about certain topic and then you release finally that resistance and that experience shows up to you because this experience of desired experience you have created. This is your work. And when it shows up, it always shows up. Anything that shows up in your physicality is a result of you allowing after that clear wanting, releasing that wanting and then seeing it how it shows into your physical experience, discovery by discovery by discovery. Talk to us more about that. Well, because I wanted to ask about where does the mirror fit into this then? And am I in awe of the reflection? And that's why I feel overwhelmed. It is when you see yourself with more steadiness than you usually do in that mirror reflection. You see, if this desire is coming true, that means that you are seeing yourself in that mirror image of that particular desire with more and more worthiness. So what strikes you actually, it's not overwhelmment about these people that are flowing this energy or even this experience because you know you have access to it too. What feels sometimes tipping off is a surprise of how steady you can be in your own worthiness to experience that desire come to fruition. Is it almost like, I want to say, energy struck? It is like you as it happens, briefly point back to your flashlight to the other side of it. So as you're releasing it, it happens and then it's how, how long you stay there or how comfortable that becomes for you. Costa remembers this becoming more and more gradually, more and more consistent for him in his world of dance where he would dance with smaller number of people and then more and more and then he clearly, vividly remembers this particular event when he was amateur dancer back home in Serbia where he was not the favorite to win but he was by far favorite of 700 people that were cheering for their favorite competitors. Not all 700 cheered for him but that's how it felt. It felt that he was getting that mirror reflection and seeing more and more of his own experience being worthier and worthier and worthier moment by moment by moment and he thought that was phenomenal experience until he has experienced that performance in front of 1200 people in New York City the one of the biggest cities in the world and then he felt that that might be that next thing and then he found these feelings of this worthiness coming through regardless of the size of the group he started feeling as as you described with people of different avenues, people that he was looking up to and then finding more resonance. What we're trying to talk to you about is as you get to recognize and these moments of awe that you're describing are recognition. This is this first moment when you do see yourself in this reflection like this because if something is happening to you in interacting with others, you allow that to come to your reality which means you're able 
for the first time maybe to see that reflection. And now it's the matter of capturing, may not be the good word, but actually seeing that or keeping your attention on that feeling so that resonates with you and becomes your new norm. You see, Costa has found this experience as he was a dance teacher that at one point he was asked uh, with many mirrors, many people he was teaching on variety of levels. And even though at that moment he was very successful, but not the best dancer based off of the competition results out there, he had so much confidence about people coming through the door. And when he was asked, what does he think is his strength, strength in dancing? He answered that it was that anyone who comes to the door, beginner or the world champion, could have something valuable in an exchange with him, which was for some very valid point from the point of his students, but from the statement that was going on a different direction with all of these more accomplished dancers made sound that is a silly thing. But you see, understanding this reflection of worthiness and pointing it back to you, and then getting comfortable that that is your new norm, that that is your new study, that this becomes a regular experience with still this excitement, but it does not bring your flashlight back to the place of observation and choice, but rather keeps you more towards this unveiling of more and more desires into your reality.